What's going on guys? This is Paul, Paul Catch Small YouTube. And in today's video, we're gonna be installing the Sea Light transducer pole. And um, right now I'm heading out to go pick it up. They got a warehouse right out here in Arkansas. I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but I, I live in central Arkansas. They're about an hour out. I'm gonna go scoop it up and uh, we're gonna come back here and install it. What's up guys? All right, we are on our way back right now. Picked up the transducer pole, looks great. Uh, sea light looked like a great facility. Lady was really nice. I didn't film in there, didn't want to ask to. Yeah, we're on the way back right now. We're gonna go ahead and get everything busted out. I'll go ahead and review everything that I got. I'm gonna show you guys how to install this. So all right, I'll get back with you guys when we get there. So here's everything that I got from Sea Light. Transducer pole. Here's the mount. Here's the clips to hold the wire down. And um, so I also got some thread lock here, just to make sure everything's attached and secured properly. Here's three bolts that'll be securing the mount down to the floor of the boat. Little sticker. I want to show you something else I bought. So they don't recommend this, or they didn't not recommend it, but these are just three screws here. These bolts here basically look like they just screw right on in through the bottom and hold it down. And the lady I spoke with said that's what everybody uses, even the guys that work there. Just to be sure, I went and bought some hex bolts that are the same size. I bought the bolts and the nuts, just in case if I preferably wanted to screw it down in there and tighten it. This fits absolutely perfect. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what tools you're gonna need here and uh, we're gonna get rocking. All right. All right guys, well now that we got that done, um, we can start getting ready to put the new pole on. So I already know where I'm gonna put it at. So as you guys can see, I had it mounted right here. And I liked right where that pole was. I thought it was a good spot from where I sit, from where I reach. So I'm gonna try to get that mounted right here in the spot. So hopefully that saves me a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and get this, you know, taken out. Guys, so basically besides the power drill and the screw and the, uh, the drill bit, that's really all you're gonna need to do this. Um, I mean, of course you could do it by hand. I mean, that would be just a pain in the butt. But you could do it. All right guys, so basically what I'm doing here is this is where my pole was originally, my PVC one. So I already know that's gonna be basically where I want my arm at from where I was sitting over here on the boat. So I've already made it kind of simple for myself. But if this is your first pole, I would recommend getting in a chair, sitting down and just trying to gauge where you want your hand to be. You'll look kind of goofy doing it. I definitely had a couple of my neighbors looking at me like I was a weirdo. Not that I don't get those looks anyway, but just to make sure that you're, you know, you don't want to have this put all the way over here and you're reaching back or you don't want it all the way up front and you're leaning forward. This seemed to be like a comfortable place for me. So that's why I'm putting this here. Um, you want to make sure you're going to leave enough space where your pole's going to drop down. It's not going to be hitting the boat or anything. But, um, you know, if you have it all the way up against, let's say right up against this right here, you're going to have to be leaning farther. So I'm trying to find a good happy medium, and I think I found it right here. So, and remember, you still can move this a little bit forward, backwards, you know, whatever you want to do. So now what I got to do is I got to go ahead and mark this on the carpet right here. I'm gonna use one of these permanent markers here just so I know where the drill at. All right, I think I found a good spot here. Make sure I make these marks here. Very easy for me to see so I know exactly where to drill at. Now, if you guys have any other better solutions, ideas, please leave them down in the comments below. But this is what I've done anytime I've marked anything on my carpet when I had the drill. All right. Okay. Okay. All 
Yeah, so, all right, so again, guys, now that we got all these holes drilled, you don't necessarily have to do this. The lady I spoke with said that all the guys that work at Sea Light, that's what they use is those screws right there. But personally, I just wanted to use some like these. I wasn't trying to be special. I'm not trying to be fancy, I guess. I just want to make sure it's held down right. I mean, those screws aren't bad. They look pretty hard, but it's just my opinion, if I'm going to be running the lake, it's going to be bouncing a bit, or when I'm driving from place to place, I just want to be extra safe. So I went to Lowe's. I bought four hex bolts, four hex nuts, for a total of 110 after taxes. A dollar and 10 cents. So, and I, I honestly probably have some laying around the house anyway. I mean, right there, that's rock solid, and that's just hand taut. All right, guys. So I went ahead here and tightened up these three bolts. And uh, man, this thing, that's not going anywhere. So that thing is rock solid. Awesome. Well, now let's go ahead here and set this guy up. All right, guys. Yeah. So once you're done, loosen this up. Turn it sideways. Get her tightened down. Loosen this right here. Spin it around, boom, done. Guys, I'm gonna try to show you a little bit better of an angle here. So, say we get out, we're ready to fish. I mean, this thing is pretty sweet. Very easy to do, bam, done. Loosen this up, turn your rod much as you need to. Tighten up your patrolling, now it won't turn. Let's say you're done for the day. Loosen this up, pole comes up. Tighten it down, loosen this nut here. Bring everything inside the boat. Stop this right here. Let's say I want to get this brought up. Loosen, tight. Nothing's going anywhere. Now we're locked down, ready to go. So. What I basically did here. Now I got a zero degree mount coming, so I'm not really too crazy about getting this to look absolutely perfect. So that right there is level, and I threw the level on the side of this and made sure it was level straight up and down, locked this down. So hopefully that should mean wherever this handle is pointing is where my transducer is going to be pointing. Uh, the hope is to get out and do some fishing tomorrow, but we have some crazy rain. Who knows if it's going to be happening. Now you guys could see, since it's not the zero degree, that there's like an offset with it. Ooh, that's gnarly. You can see how it's angled a little bit. That zero degree is gonna make that perfect. And I just got an email, mine's gonna be coming in in a few days. Um, they're just completely backed up from everybody buying these transducers, so. But luckily, you gotta put the pre-orders in when you can, man. So once they come in, you're ready to roll. Well, now that's on there. And who knows, I, I might not even get a chance to try this out until, uh, until the zero degree mounts here. Okay, now let's get those clips. You wanna make sure you have enough of a loop. So you do a full 360 and it's not gonna mess anything up. So these are very easy here. You could tell when you put them on, it's not stressing out that wire so much. It's just enough just to like manage the cables. It's not like holding it down, you know. I would say even the uh, black electrical tape I was using was holding it down harder than these things. And look at like, you could literally just pull this wire in or out a little bit if you need to. I'm definitely happy I went with the clips.
Alright guys, so the whole purpose is just to make sure you can spin this in a full 360. There's one whole 360. There's the 360. I probably could tighten up this line a little bit here, but there's really no point. This thing will stay tight, but you can still move the line around. There's a whole bunch of room in it. Let's see if I can show you. So if you guys could see. You know, it's not like completely locked down. There's room in there for that line to move. So it's not like suffocating that line in there. So that's what's pretty cool about these was they, they're just basically there to manage your wires. Which I'm all about wire management. If anybody's been on my boat, I, uh, I try to keep my stuff clean. But yeah, totally moves, full 360. Uh, once I get the zero degree mount, uh, I'll be ready to rock. But uh, yeah, either way, this thing's pretty sweet. I'm ready to get out and do some fishing. So, all right guys, this is the Sea Light 2.0 transducer pull mount. And I got everything all set up here. I got my clamps holding down my wire. Transducer's on here. It's the uh, Live Scope Plus. I do not have the zero degree mount. This one is one that came with it. My zero degree mount's gonna be here in a couple days. So I just slapped on this one just so you guys could see how it looks. So basically, this is how it looks when it's in the water. You can see here, you can do the full 360. No wires are being tangled and everything is moving freely and just fine. If you don't mind coming over here, there's this little knob right here. Tighten this up, you can't turn it anywhere. Loosen it a couple times, you can spin it as freely as you want. So let's say you're done fishing and you want to stow this up so you could run the lake. Tighten this bad boy up, come over here. You loosen up this knob and just pull it up. Once you pull it up out of the water, go ahead, tighten it back down. This thing's nice and tight. You're ready to run the lake. And once you're done with that, you know, you get back out to the water. Loosen up that knob. Slam this thing down. Loosen this up. You're ready to go and start fishing again. Let's say you're all done and you want to go home. Tighten this up. Loosen this back nut up here again. Lift it up, tighten it down, and then there's this little knob right on in here on the inside. This little knob right here, loosen that, and then, so you just loosen that up, then you can just turn this right on the inside of the boat, tighten that down, this thing's not going anywhere. You could also loosen this up and drop this down to the bottom here if you like, or you could loosen this, just pull it up and put it right here on the deck of the boat, but this is just fine for me. This is going to be just right. So, but I just want to show you guys a quick little how-to of how this thing works, but it's awesome, very easy to use, and way better than a PVC pipe in my opinion. And that's it. That's the Sea Light 2.0. Works great. Bye. Have a great time.